Before we get into today's video, I just once again like to thank you for helping me hit 50 episodes. This could not have been done without all of your comments. I guess there's been at least 49 comments as I did have to start it in the first place with none other than Luke Skywalker, which we'll get to in a minute. But if there are any other minifigures you would like to see, be sure to leave them on the comment of this video as well, as I will be looking at this for future ideas. I think we've got enough to go till October at the minute. So don't worry if your idea doesn't pop up soon, it will be eventually turned into a show. And if you are crazy enough to sit through this completion of all 50 episodes, I hope you enjoy. Don't worry, when we get to 100, I'll start at 51, so you won't have to watch this all again. So without further ado, let's take a look at my very first Lego Star Wars minifigure show that started this entire series. Let's take a look at every single Luke Skywalker outfit in Lego. First up we have young Luke and then we've got the infamous farm boy that comes with all of the land speeders every few years. The second custom is actually Luke's head on one of the new trooper bodies with Firestar arms and the most recent, check out the video down below, is the UCS Luke Skywalker. I also have the older Yavin Celebration Luke from the dictionary, Hoth Luke, back to Luke, Snow Speeder Luke with again, Firestar printed arms, Dagobah Training Luke, a custom Dark Side Cave Luke, which just uses Vader's torso and legs, Bespin Luke, Jabba's Palace Luke, Endor Luke, Death Star Duel Luke, Mandalorian Luke, Luke from his time training Leia, Master Luke, and then the grumpy old man from The Last Jedi. Let's take a look at every Obi-Wan Kenobi minifigure I have in my collection. Thank you to Lemonade for the comment. First up, we're starting with Padawan Kenobi from The Phantom Menace. And then we've got this Kenobi from Attack of the Clones that I have swapped the hairpiece of. And I also have the robed version in his Delta. I have a Clone Wars version of Kenobi using Gar Saxon's torso and legs. And of course we had to have High Ground Kenobi from Revenge of the Sith. Now I don't yet have a Kenobi show Kenobi because I'm still trying to get my hands on the Inquisitor Scythe. But I do have his appearance from A New Hope. And once again he has a road version on my diorama display. But we're still missing a Force Ghost from the other two original trilogy movies. But let me know which character you'd like to see covered next. Let's take a look at every Yoda Lego minifigure I own. Thank you, Dirk Willem Debris, for the comment. First up, we have Yoda from Young Jedi Adventures, and I've actually swapped the head and hands with this galaxy traveling Yoda from one of the Star Wars books. Then we have not one, but two Clone Wars Yodas with slightly different torso prints, a prequel trilogy Yoda, which I've whacked in the Revenge of the Sith, and then the next Yoda we've got is the original trilogy, and once again, like Kenobi, still no Force Ghost, but at least we've got a baby Yoda. Let me know which character you'd like to see more of next. Let's take a look at every Anakin Skywalker minifigure I own. Thank you, Kura151, for the comment. First up, we have the young Anakin Skywalker in his pod racing gear from Phantom Menace. And then we have a custom for Attack of the Clones using his Revenge of the Sith torso. Clone Wars Anakin come from a set with Asajj and Savage. And Episode 3 has his glowing Sith eyes, which hopefully will be updated to the new version next year. Then we have our Darth Vader minifigure, but did you realize that the chest piece on this minifigure makes this Vader screen accurate to Return of the Jedi only? And so far that is the only Vader outfit we have gotten, but let me know down in the comments who you'd like to see next time. I have a whole list to get through, so do be sure to stick around and check out the Rex mech linked below. Let's take a look at every separatist battle droid that I own. Thank you to Lego Man for the comment. Starting off with one of the leaders of the separatist army, we have General Grievous, who's the only one that finds himself in this minifigure display. Then we have the spider droid from the ATTE, the recent tri droid that came in this year's January battle pack, and a custom droidica that I think is much better than Lego's version. And for the main part of the army, we have Two pilots, which I do need to order a few more parts to complete a few of my incomplete battle droids. A half battalion of B1 droids, including the two Kashyyyk troopers at the front. Three B2s, a commando, and this custom commando I made with a custom brick built backpack. Let me know what other minifigures you'd like me to cover in the future. Let's take a look at every named clone trooper I have in Lego. Don't forget to leave your comment on what you'd like to see next. Starting off, we have Jace Malcolm from the Old Republic. And then we have Hunter, Wrecker, Echo, Tech, Crosshair, and Omega from Bad Batch. And we can't forget all the Boba Fetts, but they'll be covered next time. 
Now, I do only own this Phase 2 Captain Rex, but he's joined by Fives, Captain Vaughn, Commander Cody, and Commander Fox, as well as my custom Wilco. And we can't forget about this giant Captain Rex Big Fig, so technically I have two. Let's take a look at every single Boba Fett that I own as we aim to cover every single Lego Star Wars minifigure in my collection. Don't forget to let me know what minifigure you'd like to see in the next video. Now, I don't own any young Boba Fetts, but that and a Jango Fett would be very welcome anytime soon. So my first Boba Fett minifigure is actually this prototype that was modeled after Boba Fett being a Stormtrooper. And then we have the Empire Strikes Back outfit, which is absolutely awesome that Lego gave us that in a mech. Followed by the Return of the Jedi, which does have custom printed arms to match the previous version. I created a custom Boba Fett from his appearance in Mandalorian Season 2 with a mix up of both Return of the Jedi and his Book of Boba Fett armor. And I even created this flashback Boba using the Han in Carbonite outfit, which I think works really well. But my favorite Lego Boba is definitely the freshly painted one which does look really cool. Let's take a look at every Padme Amidala minifigure I own. Don't forget to leave your comments on what minifigure you'd like to see next down below. Starting off, we have Padme in her Tatooine disguise from The Phantom Menace. And then one of my favorite custom minifigures, this Senator Padme from Attack of the Clones. I've recently also made this custom handmaiden Padme, but I feel like I could improve upon it. So feel free to leave any tips in the comments. And then last but not least, we have this Clone Wars Padme who definitely needed to come with dual molded legs in the set. Stay tuned for tomorrow's show as we will be going over every single Mandalorian in my collection. It's finally time to take a look at every Mandalorian in my Lego minifigure collection. Now we've already covered Boba Fett, so he will be left out of this video. But starting off, we have the Lady of Mandalore, Bo-Katan. And as Maul was technically ruler of Mandalore for quite some time, he'll make an honorary appearance in this short. I also have a Paz Vizsla and a few of his Death Watch that aren't on this display. Next to Maul, we do have Gar Saxon's torso and legs. I do own the full minifigure, but I just prefer them on this Mandalorian Kenobi. We have Din from season one, as well as his upgraded armor, and they are next to Grogu, who is now Din's foundling. We also have the Armorer and Paz Fleet Commander, a Night Owl, a Mandalorian Warrior, a Mandalorian Loyalist, another Warrior, a Covert Mandalorian, another Warrior, a Mandalorian Judge, and Sabine Wren, who is technically another Mandalorian Warrior. Let's take a look at every Ahsoka minifigure I have in my LEGO collection. Don't forget to leave your comment or which minifigure you'd like to see next time in the comments. First up, we have this Clone Wars Ahsoka, which does have some printed arms and I've also given her the shorter lightsaber blade from one of the earlier CMFs, which looks amazing with this figure. And then the only other Ahsoka I have is this custom Ahsoka the White, but I cannot wait for the advent at the end of this year where we get the Ahsoka from the T6 to add to my collection. Let's take a look at every non-battle droid droid I have in this collection. This is going to take some time. T701, Naked 3PO, Shiny 3PO, Battle Droid 3PO, Is Grievous a Droid, Custom Ned B from Kenobi, Silverleg 3PO, R3M2, Forlom, IG88, IG11, R2D2, my custom RA7 from The Mandalorian, IG12, BB8 and Red Arm 3PO, Dio, Old C-3PO, New York 3PO, a Death Star Protocol Droid, a Death Star Astromech, the old R2E, a Dirty R2E, R3T2, R5D8, R3D5, a 2-1B Medical Droid, four different styles of Probe Droid, a Viper Probe Droid, an FX9, I couldn't find a name for this one, a Medical Droid, a Marksman H Droid, a Temple Training Droid, three Mouse Droids, and finally just a few of the gonks that I own. Let's take a look at every single Force user I have. The Till Shan, and Yoda does have his own videos. Kai Brightstar, Liz Soleil, my custom nubs, Qui-Gon Jinn, Kenobi does have his own video. Our first Sith on the list, Darth Maul. Anakin, again, with his own video. I'll try to leave links for these videos in the comments. Clone Wars Palpatine with that beautiful face print. Asajj, Savage, Evan Peel, Sassy Tin, Ahsoka, Maul, 
Barris, Windu, Palpatine, Windu again, Kiedi Mundi, Omega, Luke Skywalker's another character with their own video, Darth Maul's solo fig, Ezra Bridger, my custom Cal Kestis, of course we got Papa Palpatine, Din Grogu, Ahsoka the White, Sabine Wren, Morgan Elsbeth, Balan Skull, Shin Harty, a surprise appearance from Princess Leia, Poe Dameron for Star Wars comic fans, both of these Rey Skywalkers, Finn from The Rise of Skywalker, Snoke, Ben Solo slash Kylo Ren, and the last entry on the list, Palpatine. It's time to take a look at every Wookiee minifigure I own. Starting off with this custom Gunji minifigure I made for the Clone Wars. We then have the Wookiee Chieftain Tarful from Revenge of the Sith. I used the Muppet CMF to give this Chewie a muddy look next to Mud Trooper Han, and a snowy Hoth Chewie to portray their first ever mission together. We also have a regular Chewbacca right at the top here as the oldest living character in Star Wars because of Yoda's death. But I'd love to see a Kalnaka or Agaburi from the Old Republic make it to minifigure form. As requested, let's take a look at every Bounty Hunter minifigure I own. Starting off with this custom Zam Wessel I made from Attack of the Clones, and Asajj Ventress was also a Bounty Hunter at points during the Clone Wars. And if we're including Asajj Ventress, we've got to include every member of the Bad Batch, yes, even Omega. And speaking of clones, I've already done a video on all the different Boba Fetts I own. But we also have Bosk, Dengar, Zuckus, Forlom, and IG-88. And at this point, Han Solo is still a bounty hunter as well. But he's another minifigure that would need their own video. From The Mandalorian, we not only have IG-11, but also the RA-7 unit that appears in the Jailbreak episode. On to Boba Fett, we have this custom Cad Bane minifigure that I made. And we also have Zori Bliss, who was a bounty hunter for some time in the comics. Even Kenobi was a bounty hunter at points in the Clone Wars. And there are a few questionable minifigures like the Guavian Death Gang, but they tend to be more pirates than actual bounty hunters. Let's take a look at all the Stormtroopers in my collection. Starting off with Mud Trooper Han, then the Imperial Commando, and again this prototype of Boba Fett. We've got Disguised Luke and FN2187, a few different varieties of the regular Stormtrooper, Han in disguise at his old job, the Sand Troopers, which each have their own rank, this Stormtrooper with some battle damage, a Shock Trooper, Artillery Trooper, Snow Troopers from Vader's 501st, Shore Troopers, Patrol Trooper, Scout Troopers, Inferno Squad, Death Trooper or AWR Trooper, an Imperial Gunner, Technician, Officer, ATST Pilots, ATAT Pilots, TIE Pilots, and that's before we even get to the sequels. Let's take a look at some of my favorite custom minifigures that I own. These are all purist customs using only Lego pieces and created by myself. Starting off with this Senator Padme Amidala using Agatha Harkness's torso, I think it does a great job. And I'm also fond of this Sam Wessel, which uses pieces from the same CMF line. This C-3PO is meant to represent him in Attack of the Clones before he gets his shiny gold plating. And I really like this custom fully gold minifigure that not only has printed arms, but also printing on the side of his legs. I saved myself hundreds of pounds by creating a custom Yularen minifigure. And I also really like this custom Clone Wars Kenobi from his Mandalorian arc. Cal Kestis is a more recent custom, but I think looks really, really nice. And Pelimoto is almost identical to the minifigure Lego gave her. Hyang is a cool custom, though I still really would love to get a droid-shaped minifigure. And I had to include the Luke and Leia minifigures from their training on this list. Let's take a look at every single alien minifigure I own. Starting off with Master Yoda, Kai Brightstar is a human, Lissa Lay is a Pantoran, Nubs is a Pooba, Jar Jar is a Gungan, Maul is a Zabrat, Wald is a Rodian, Han Wei is a Kaminoan, Asajj Ventress is a Dathomirian, Kiel is a Lanik, Tin is an Iktochi, Ahsoka is a Togruta, Gunji is a Wookiee, Barris is a Mirialan, Grievous is Kalish, Mundi is Serian, Bosk is Trandoshan, Zuckus is Gan, Wicket is an Ewok, Akbar is Mon Calamaran, Quill is an Ugnal, Cad Bane is a Duros, Thrawn is Chiss, Ray is Nobody, Maz Kanata is Jilbrogian, Turbos is a Paul, Garindan is Kubaz, Momor Nadon is Ithorian, Malok is Deveronian, Figrindan is Bith, Cabe is a Chadrafan, Ponda is a Qualish, Goss is a Shoza, Pagetti is a Weequay, Sebulba is a a dog, and I also have some sand people and some Jawas. For episode 20, we are going to be taking a look 
at every Batman minifigure I own. Starting off with Batman himself, we have this classic Batman, Christian Bale's Dark Knight, Michael Keaton's Batman Returns, and then another Batman with comically large bat wings. I mean, they definitely look like Saint from the comics. And we can't have Batman without the Joker or Harley Quinn. In my superhero calf, we have another black suited Batman, a Batwoman, Robin, Wonder Woman and even Man of Steel. And you'll find Joker and Penguin hanging out in the villain's pub. Both of which found in the corner of my Lego city. And last but not least, the last Batman or DC character we have is Batman from Lego Movie 2. So if you're wondering how many Batman I own, you're welcome. Let's take a look at every phase one clone trooper in my collection. They're all in this ATTE. Starting off at the front, we have this pilot with the annoying fin on their helmet. And this is the newest phase one I have, and I actually have a second. But I do prefer the older style, and my newest is this one that I got from the 2009 battle pack. I also have two of these Bomb Squad minifigures, which came in the same battle pack as this clone, and this scout, which has annoyingly less Horn Company printing. I then have three of these regular Phase 1 clones, and two of these gunners, one of which I got in the Veneta. Tomorrow we'll take a look at Phase 2. Let's take a look at every Phase 2 clone I have in my collection. First up we have Rex, alongside Fives, a Custom Dogma, Vaughn, a regular 501st, a Specialist 501st, 501st Officer, 501st Heavy, and 501st Jump Trooper, 330 seconds Specialist, Heavy, Assault, and Officer classes, and a recent custom Jump Trooper. I also have Commander Cody, a regular 212th, and I really want to get my hands on an Airborne 212th. Commander Fox, a Coruscant Guard, a 187th Legion with a 187th Airborne. Captain Wilco from Season 2 of The Bad Batch, a Shiny Clone, a Phase 2 Gunner, Echo, Hunter, Wrecker, and Tech. Crosshair's technically not in Phase 2 armor, but I think I should still point him out. So that is every Phase 2 clone in my current collection. Let's take a look at every Rebel Pilot minifigure I own. Starting off with Cassian Andor. And sorry if you haven't played the second game, but Cal Kestis is on the list too. Then we have UCS Luke Skywalker with really cool printed arms and those awesome dual molded legs. We also have Han Solo, Luke Skywalker in his snow speedy uniform, another Han Solo, and another Luke Skywalker from the 20th anniversary. Then we have this custom Lando minifigure I made, another older Luke Skywalker minifigure, a Wedge Antilles minifigure, this farm boy Luke I gave a spare rebel pilot head to, Porkins who I also think is from the 2012 X-Wing, Dak Rauter and Zin Evalon who are two different characters, this custom fig that uses the pilot gear from Rogue One because I've actually used the headpiece on my custom cop vamp. And then this trooper, I've given him a red Santa hat because of his Christmassy outfit. With Rebel pilots out of the way, let's take a look at all of our other Rebel freedom fighters. And I have to start off with Ezra from Rebels. Then we have Iden Versio, well, eventually, Princess Leia, Captain Antilles, General Dodonna, who I thought for some reason was called Dodonna, Luke Skywalker and Han Solo both in their ceremony outfits. Guile from Return of the Jedi. Landonis in Han's outfit. Kara from The Mandalorian, though this is a bit later than when she was fighting for the Rebellion. And then we have Fulcrum and Sabine Wren. Let's take a look at every version of Qui-Gon Jinn in my collection. Starting off with the regular minifigure. And then we have his breathing apparatus. We have Qui-Gon in his poncho, Qui-Gon with his Jedi robe, Qui-Gon with his hood up, Qui-Gon in his Jedi robe with his hood up with a lightsaber, and this Qui has gone to the gym. Let's take a look at how many Darth Mauls I have in my collection. And I have to agree with Liam, Darth Maul is definitely my favourite of the Sith. Though Vader's pretty close. Starting off we have the Maul from the 7th series of Clone Wars, and I'd love to get one with him and his legs that got reconstructed on Dathomir. I then have this maul that was given away in a visual dictionary and this is from his appearance towards the end of the Solo movie. And I completely forgot about this maul from The Phantom Menace which is where it all began and 
I really like that angrier facial expression that definitely matches how we were introduced to him. But I would love to get my hands on the 25th anniversary mall from the new dictionary. Leave your favourite Star Wars Sith in the comments. Let's take a look at every Princess Leia in my collection. And I'm afraid I don't actually own the Endor version, but I do have outfits from A New Hope, Hoth in Empire Strikes Back, her Endor outfit, which is my personal favorite from Return of the Jedi, a custom training layer from that flashback in Rise of Skywalker, and an older layer from The Force Awakens. This time, I'm not gonna give you the theme of the short, but I'd like you to leave your guesses in the comments. And the first minifigure we have is Anakin from Attack of the Clones. Followed closely by this Sith-eyed Anakin from Revenge of the Sith. And a surprise appearance from Vader, who is perfectly placed on my Kenobi row. And finally, Kylo Ren, because this is the youngest version of him that I have. So comment your guess on what you think the original comment was asking for. Let's take a look at every single custom on this minifigure display. Starting off with Nubs, and we've also got Shmi and Wald, Padme, one of her handmaidens, Zam Wessel, and these three 3PO's on the end of that row. Here's my custom Clone Wars Yularen, and my Mandalore suited Kenobi, as well as my Burning Anakin, which was actually the first custom I made. Kenobi is full of customs, like this young Luke, Ned B droid, and Force Ghost minifigure. We also have this muddy Chewbacca B2 Emo. This is Cal Kestis standing next to a custom ninth sister Lando. Quill, Cobb Vanth, this Boba Fett. Pelimoto, this RA7 droid. Another Boba Fett. This really cool Cad Bane. Ahsoka the White, Sabine Wren, Yang, Elsbeth, Phelan Skull, Shin Harty, and Thrawn. We've got Luke and Leia, custom Palpatine clone, and another new addition in the sequel trilogy, Lando. Let's take a look at every dark side character in my collection. Starting off with Darth Maul, we then have Palpatine, Asajj and Savage in a row. Barris did tap into the dark side in Clone Wars, much like Anakin in Revenge of the Sith, who eventually became Darth Vader. And this custom Knight Sister from Fallen Order. We can't forget about Darth Sidious, as well as Morgan Elsbeth, Balin Skull and Shin Harty. And right at the top we have our Snoke, Kylo Ren, and Palpatine from the sequels. Let's take a look at every one of my minifigures that has arm printing. The first minifigure chronologically is this Zam West, and then we've got this completely gold C-3PO. Jumping forward to the Clone Wars, we have Ahsoka and Bo-Katan, and most of these arms are from Firestar Toys. But these Mace Windu arms are from Lego, and they've done a really good job. Darth Vader's we've seen so much of, and sometimes all they need is that little bit of detail like this ninth sister Kroto, Boba Fett. Then we have Stormtrooper Luke, the UCS X-Wing Luke, the Yavin Ceremony Luke, Snowspeeder Luke, this Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett, Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, Din Djarin, and Din's upgraded armor, this custom Boba Fett I made, which uses the same arms as the official figure. You perhaps didn't recognize C-3PO because of his red arm. And Lando's also rocking limited, but it's still printed arms. Let's take a look at every single Jedi figure in my collection. Starting off with Yoda, Kai Brightstar, Lys Soleil, and Nubs from Young Jedi Adventures. We've got Qui-Gon, Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, Evan, Sassy, Ahsoka Tano, Gunji, Barris, Windu, and Mundi, Ezra Bridger, Cal Kestis, Luke Skywalker, Grogu, at least partially, Sabine Wren, Leia, and Rey Skywalker. Let's take a look at every pirate Lego minifigure I own. Starting off with this 2004 Lego pirate, which I think is really cool because it's just bigger than a regular minifigure. I also have the two minifigures included in the Force Awakens Falcon and the two from the Mandalorian ATST. But stepping away from Star Wars, we not only have Jack Sparrow, who's usually found in the Villains Pub, but also SpongeBob, the Flying Dutchman, and Patrick Starfish. Let's take a look at every 501st clone in my minifigure collection. I actually keep all of my clone troopers on this wall display right here. First up, we've got this UCS 
Captain Rex minifigure. And I also gave Fives this custom hairpiece. My newest addition is this custom hard case in Ark Trooper uniform. But for a Lego purist custom, I have this Dogma minifigure. We also have this custom Captain, 501st Officer, 501st Heavy, 501st Specialist, regular 501st Trooper, and this Jump Trooper all from the battle packs. And this clone is over 11 years old. But it looks like we don't have enough time to cover the 332nd Legion. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Let's take a look at all the minifigures I've added recently to my minifigure display. This George Lucas was built using spare parts I had. Tarful is back after his adventure on my custom Wookiee Fluttercraft. These Rebel pilots fill up the Rebels row quite nicely. And if you weren't aware, each row in my minifigure display actually correlates to its own show or movie. I gave these minifigures the faces of their actors. And Trooper Han is an honourable mention because he has now been replaced with Ceremony Leia. The Christmas Ewok now joins Wicket in Return of the Jedi. Oscar Reeves makes a return as Luke is on his diorama. Cobb Vanth not only has a new face, but also has this Boba Fett torso accessory. I've added a Tuscan child to the book of Boba Fett far away from Anakin. And you can see a bunch of new minifigures in the Ahsoka line after getting the ghost. Finally, we have an older version of Wedge who makes a cameo at the end of Rise of Skywalker. I've been asked a lot to show off the Imperial crew, so let's take a look at the minifigures I own. Starting off with Admiral Rampart, who's from early on in the Empire. Him and General Veers are the only two Imperials that actually stand on this display. Veers has been replaced in the at, -AT where you'll also see a few drivers, scouts and snowtroopers. Then as well as stormtroopers, scouts, patrol troopers, shore troopers and TIE pilots, we have a death trooper, now renamed the AWR trooper. This unranked official in black uniform, some sort of techie weapon specialist, this trooper who is just a trooper, an ATST pilot, a Death Star protocol droid, as well as a Death Star astromech, this older version of the mouse droid, and finally, my favourite, the brand new UCS mouse droid. Let me know what your favourite is in the comments. Let's take a look at every Inquisitor minifigure I own. I have this custom ninth sister. Let's take a look at every Gungan in my collection. Here's our Jar Jar Binks, and my collection would not be complete without Jar Jar. And I also have this Gungan Warrior from an old droid carrier set. Using the Gungan Warrior, I have created my own custom Darth Jar Jar as I haven't yet picked up the set. You can put Jar Jar's head on Chancellor Palpatine's torso and dress piece for the Senator of Naboo. Or use Kelleran's torso and legs or Windu's if you don't have Kelleran Beck in your collection to make Kelleran Binks, which I think is a pretty funny combination. George wants to see every special molded alien, so let's take a look at the ones in my collection. We'll start off with Yoda who has not only one or two, but three of them with a few different printed variations. We also have Jar Jar who does share a mould with this Gungan warrior. Ward uses that Greedo head and I can't find my Sebulba so we'll move straight on to C-3PO. Grievous is a cool one. Not too far along we have the Wookiee Chieftain Tarful who does differ a little bit to the regular Chewbacca. This Corellian Hound is technically a unique minifigure mould. And this custom knife sister is very similar to the Pinocchio head we see in the Disney CMF. Bosk, Zuckus, and Forlom, Wicket here, Admiral Akbar, and of course the new Akbar Trooper. Grogu, a custom quill, sand people, also known as Tuscans. Zebarellius head is probably the most expensive. Mascanata, and there are a ton more in my Lego modular Moss Isley. Let's take a look at every Imperial named ranking official in my collection. And we'll start off with Yularen, who does appear in the Clone Wars, but is a part of that early empire. Moving swiftly on to Admiral Rampart, who shows up in The Bad Batch. And jumping all the way to Empire Strikes Back, we then have the General Veers from the UCS at -AT. We also have Admiral Ray Salone from the Squadrons VR game. Item Versio from Battlefront 2. And the Ninth Sister from the Jedi game franchise. And of course, we can't forget the top of the food chain, Emperor Palpatine himself. And his apprentice, Darth Vader.
Carson would like to see my most expensive minifigures. And though I do own a Padme Amidala, Zeb, Aurelius, and even one of the old B2s with the rocket launcher arm, they are all replicas, so they were actually pretty cheap. My most expensive authentic Lego minifigures are this prototype Boba Fett that currently goes for over £37. Zuckus isn't too far behind, starting at £35. This Desert Skiff Boba starts at £27. I have a few variants of this Shore Trooper worth over £25 each. This Gar Saxon, Savage Opress and Wrecker figures are all worth over £23. And Commander Fox and Viz from the UCS 8080 start at only £20 per figure. And as for the rest of them, they're all valued at under £20. Let's take a look at every Imperial minifigure I own, and this time we're going to be sticking just to this display. Starting off, we have Admiral Rampart from the Bad Batch, followed by the Ninth Sister, Iden Versio, and Race Alone from the games. We have a bunch of different Darth Vaders that I've made, most of which using custom parts such as that Lord Garmadon torso, and a Palpatine chef, because why not? Speaking of Palpatine, we have the Emperor himself, and also the Christmas variant. And last but not least, Gideon if you can add him to this list. Let's take a look at every Iron Man minifigure in my collection. And as you're about to see, I only have two sets from Iron Man 3. First up, we have Doctor Doom, I mean Tony Stank, I mean Tony Stark, and Pepper Potts, I think both from the Malibu Mansion. I do have two Mark 42 Iron Man suits, but I don't know where the other one went. And Bode is the man behind the War Machine mask. We also have Trevor Slattery's impersonation of the Mandalorian, Audric Killian, who was the true villain of Iron Man, and three and a random unnamed extremist soldier which I was pretty sure had a name. Let me know what minifigures you'd like to see next. Let's take a closer look at every Anakin and Vader minifigure in my collection. Starting off at the very beginning of Star Wars we have Darth Vader just up there in the crowd next to a really beefed up Darth Vader, a short Darth Vader, a four-armed Darth Vader and then the Christmas jumper in the back. And our youngest Anakin is this pod racer Anakin from episode 1. He's certainly grown by episode 2, but the Clone Wars variant has a special place on my display for that face. Quite literally, I have a whole row dedicated to that style. Next up, we've got Dark Deeds Anakin before he gets burnt and then becomes Darth Vader. Let me know what minifigures you would like to see next. Did you know that R2-D2 actually has a few different printings, such as the larger receptor on the left compared to the smaller on the right? Let's take a look at every astromech in my LEGO Star Wars minifigure collection. Starting off with this R2-D2 up the front, who is actually 1 to 45 minifigure scale, which I think is pretty cool. We have this Old Republic droid, a LEGO classic Clone Wars R2-D2, which the receptor printing definitely matches that Clone Wars style of faces. But I'm very happy LEGO have updated it since, and I also have this exclusive astromech from Rogue One. R2 got a full makeover for his Dagobah appearance where he gets all muddy in the swamp. And the last minifigure on this display is Chopper, but it doesn't end there. I also have this droid from A New Hope, this droid that's meant to be from A New Hope, but just looks like R2-D2 with face paint, this droid that's R2-D2's torso with the head of the Tenu Temple training droid, and that's not a droid. Let's take a look at every Tarnway minifigure in my collection. First up, we have Tarnway from Attack of the Clones. And we also have Tarnway from The Clone Wars. Tarnway also showed up in The Bad Batch. And I forgot to mention Tarnway from the Attack of the Clones novel. We also have Tarnway from the Special Editions, the Skywalker Saga video game. I'm sure I've probably missed a few, but let me know your favorite down in the comments, as well as which other minifigures you'd like to see me go over next. Dirk wants to see every Ewok I own, so let's take a look. Don't forget to become a member to not only join the Discord, but also get your name 3D printed on a custom made tile just for you. Of course we have Wicket, who is my personal favorite Ewok, and I also own a Christmas version from the Advent Calendar. The only other Ewok I own right now is Logray, but I'm pretty sure I've got another Ewok head hidden somewhere. Hopefully we can get some more, and I'd really love to see another Master Builders series Ewok Village. Dirk would like to see every protocol droid in my collection, and I didn't realize I own so many. Just from C-3PO, we have this unfinished version, this custom fully gold C-3PO. I've used his head on a battle droid for this Geonosis 3PO, 
We've got the silver leg from the original trilogy and the red arm from the sequels, but you didn't even notice it was him. And previously I've colored his eyes red though, now we've got an official mold. Forlom is also a protocol droid and I've used his head to create this custom RA7 droid from the Mandalorian. And last but not least, I have this Death Star protocol droid. Let me know what other minifigures you'd like to see next. I couldn't find the original comment that was asking to see my 212, but thankfully I jot all of your ideas down on a list, so let's take a look at all the 212 in my collection. First up, we have Commander Cody from the ATTE, and I have given him Marge's arms and Finn's hair just to create a more accurate version. I also have quite a few of the regular 212 in my collection, which did appear on this magazine. And though the gunner doesn't have any specific 212 markings, he has to be included in this collection. I also own this 212 clone airborne from Filoni clones. I'll link the full video at the bottom of your screen if you do want to check it out. 360 degree printing and it fills the gap of the official Lego minifigure very well. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see this printing from Lego. Our newest channel member would like to see every Yoda in my collection, so let's take a look. We'll go chronologically, so we're starting off with Yoda from the Young Jedi Adventures, which isn't too bad a minifigure. Then straight into Clone Wars where we have not one, but two different designs for a Clone Wars Yoda. Both differ into the version that we see for the prequel trilogy Yoda, mostly on Kashyyyk. And I also own this book exclusive of Yoda traveling the galaxy before he shows up in the original trilogy. Speaking of, this is the Grandmaster that ends up training Luke Skywalker to continue the Jedi legacy. And I also have this Yoda Santa Christmas minifigure, which I think the less we talk about it, the better, but we're still yet to get a Force Ghost even though he's appeared in two different trilogies. What about all the non-Jedi Force users? Well. Let's take a look. First up, we have Ahsoka Tano who did leave the Jedi Order. And I recently got this version of Ahsoka Tano in this year's Advent Calendar. Ezra is another talented Force user who never technically goes on to complete his training. Though there's definitely an argument for Cal Kestis being a Jedi. We'll have to wait and see. At the time of The Empire Strikes Back, Luke hasn't technically completed his trainings and Grogu just flat up refused to train rather spending time with Din. We see just how hard Jedi training actually is through Sabine but I wonder what will happen with Jason Sundula. I'd love to see Finn's story continued as it was hinted at numerous times and we straight up got a flashback to explain how Leia could use the Force to save herself. At least we know we're getting a movie exploring Rey's new Jedi Order, and I cannot wait to see it. Let's take a trip down memory lane and take a look at my very first LEGO Star Wars minifigures. And for anyone not aware, my first set was actually the Clone Walker Battle Pack, which I have built today with both its stickers. So all four minifigures here are clone troopers, but the best part about this battle pack were those early 2009 clone accessories. To this day, we haven't seen the return of this flashlight piece, and it's a big surprise considering all the Mandalorians we're getting. I especially used to love putting both of the flashlights on a clone trooper helmet, and it just looks like some sort of jet engines. But to date, this is one of my favorite ever Lego Star Wars sets that I have in my collection. And though I've played with them for over 15 years now, there are no cracks on the legs, on the sides of the torso, but they're definitely showing how old they are through the dirt they're picking up. Let me know your first Lego Star Wars set in the comments. So you made it to the end of the video. Once again, thank you specifically for sitting through all 50 of them. And if you did skip a few of them, I don't mind. There were a lot of repeats throughout making this video. I didn't realize how many times so many minifigures pop up and all the different categories they fit into. But if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a like as well as subscribing so you don't miss out on the future episodes. And as always, may the bricks be with you. I hope to see your comments over on the shorts.